this patient likely has hereditary spherocytosis. The clue to this condition is a family history of anemia and a positive osmotic fragility test. The reduced surface to volume ratio makes the spherocytes more susceptible to osmotic stress. Since it is a hemolytic anemia, we would expect to see an increased reticulocyte count, increased LDH, and increased indirect bilirubin. Furthermore, if we checked a haptoglobin level, it would be decreased like other hemolytic processes. Choice A, glutamate to valine point mutation, would be seen in sickle cell problems. An example of choice B, enzyme deficiency, is G6PD deficiency. This patient does not have any exposure to certain medications or foods like primaquin, fava beans, dapsin, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, or quinine to suggest this disorder. Choice D, CD55 or CD59 deficiency, would be seen in paroxysmal nocturnal hematuria, PNH. In this disease, there is unopposed complement-mediated hemolysis that occurs because of the loss of anchor membrane proteins that would normally protect against hemolysis. It presents with arterial or venous thrombosis and also would have a urinalysis showing blood without RBCs. Choice E, iron deficiency, is incorrect as the patient does not give a history of any bleeding. Remember that bleeding excessively will cause an increased reticulocyte count, but iron deficiency anemia is one of the causes of a low reticulocyte count. Choice C. Membrane defect is the correct answer, describing hereditary spherocytosis. There is a problem in the cytoskeleton membrane protein spectrum that causes membrane flexibility to decrease. Therefore, it becomes more susceptible to hemolysis. The spherocytes can result in gallstone development as well.